In this video, I'm gonna show you how I built a WhatsApp AI booking bot that responds to leads instantly, qualifies leads, and books appointments on your calendar, all inside of the WhatsApp chat. Here you can see that one of my customers was able to book 76 appointments in the month of December completely using AI. And so this video is gonna show you how to set this exact system up for your business or so you can help other businesses all on WhatsApp. So before I get into the specific training, there are three main functions of the AI booking bot that we're gonna be creating today. The first one is the ability for the system to automatically respond. So this booking bot will respond to leads 24 seven, 365 via WhatsApp, or you can even set custom hours. You can see a screenshot here from one of my customers where the lead had messaged this business and then it responded within the same minute. The second thing that this system can do is qualify your lead. So in order for you to make your booking bot efficient, you want it to ask qualifying questions to your leads to make sure that they are a good fit and that they should actually book an appointment with your business. So you can qualify leads with custom questions that you create and you can also use disqualifying questions so that if a lead responds in a certain way, they actually won't be able to book an appointment. So you can see a screenshot here of this particular system asking the lead um, about their football IQ. This is actually a linebacker coaching program. And so this bot is qualifying leads who are interested in that particular program. And keep in mind, this can be used for any niche, any type of business, any business that basically makes money from getting more qualified appointments on their calendar. Then the last function is booking qualified appointments. Once the lead starts the conversation, the bot will automatically respond. Then once the lead continues to engage, we start asking them qualifying questions via the bot. And then from there, once they go through all the questions that we put in our prompt, the system will actually give the lead an option to book an appointment with any of the times that are available in the actual calendar and you can see here these are all conversationally being booked so it's not like they're having to go to a link or go to some website and fill out a form they're basically booking this appointment right inside of the chat and so that is the third function that we're going to build today okay so now let's get into the actual build so step one is to create a free trial of the software i'm going to be using called go high level i have a link below to that in the description as well as an extended 30-day free trial versus the standard 14-day trial and if you decide to use my link, you're supporting the channel and you get all my bonuses, including weekly calls with me and other group members. So you can use that link down below or you can sign up for a Go High Level directly, whatever you choose. So the first step, once you have a Go High Level free trial is to connect your WhatsApp business number to your account. So you're just gonna click on settings and then go over here to WhatsApp and then basically just follow the prompt to get your business approved. And then you can move on to the next step, which is setting up our calendar. Now, once you have your actual account and you have started your trial, the first step is to actually create a calendar. So this is where we can actually book the appointments to. And so you're going to go to your calendar section and then just click on create calendar. And then you can just choose the personal booking scheduling type, name the calendar, however you choose. You could just call it test, choose a team member, which would just be you, and then just put a custom URL as well as the meeting duration time. So this is basically how long the appointment is. And then lastly, just the availability. Now I already have of these calendars here so these are ready to use so we can move on to the actual next step here so once you have your calendar we need to actually create our automation so if we click on go back over here you will see inside of your account this automations tab now I'm gonna click on this recent one because I've been building all kinds of different automations and so this is the one that we're gonna be building or setting up for a WhatsApp AI booking bot. So if we start here, this is basically going to be our trigger. And so the trigger needs to be set for when people message us via WhatsApp. And so I can just rename this because I use the same system set up for the SMS, which is just text message. So I'm just gonna rename this here. So if you're totally new to the tool, go high level, you just click add trigger and do customer replied. And so what this is doing is telling the system that, hey, when somebody message us on WhatsApp, what do we want to happen, right? So step one, is the trigger so you choose customer replied you choose your filter and then your reply channel and then go high level actually integrates with all these different channels so we're going to choose whatsapp obviously and then we would just save that so once you have that saved you should see your trigger that looks just like this and then we can move on so now what's really cool about go high level is you don't have to learn how to code or you know do anything really advanced to set up a type of system like this so all we're going to do i'll just delete this so you can see how easy this is all we're going to do is click on the plus and then we're going to type in appointment 
appointment and then right when you start typing you should see this one here that says appointment booking conversation ai bot if we click on that you're going to see this action name and we can just leave that alone and then we have our calendar so the calendar for this one we can just do the calendar test right there and then we have basically our prompt okay so if you're new to building bots or you haven't done this quite before the prompt is essentially how the bot will behave it's the qualifying questions that the system will ask and basically if there's any information about the company you want to provide here you can put all of that here so i've been building these bots for quite some time and so i've learned that you just want to keep the personality super simple and so i'm just going to put you are friendly and then we have our additional instructions here so go high level out of the box will provide kind of like a basic prompt here um, but it's not really going to be specific to your business or really take the lead through any sort of qualifying question so I actually have a proven prompt here that I have used and I actually built my first bot about eight years ago and so um, it wasn't quite to this extent but since chat GPT 3 came out two and a half years ago or so I started prompting and basically you know learning how to build these types of systems so instead of coming up with something from scratch I'm just gonna completely copy this entire prompt here and basically use this for our system. This prompt is basically what I'm telling the bot to say and do and how to behave. This particular one is designed for real estate investors who are looking for off-market properties because that's who I work with with my business. And so this prompt is something I've already you know built and designed. Now keep in mind, we can take this over to ChatGPT and actually have this you know, get rewritten for any type of business. So let me show you. Okay, so if we take this prompt right here, so it's a prompt to create a prompt, but if we paste this in right here, it says create an AI booking bot prompt for a, and then type of business. And so if we wanna do this for, let's just say a roofing business, and then fill in the sample prompt with a test business, use this prompt template, then all I'm gonna do is actually copy paste the entire prompt. And so what this system is gonna do is basically you know rewrite reformat and reorganize this into something that would make sense for a roofing business so all we got to do is click enter and then just like that it's going to create a brand new prompt for us so this can be done for any business like I said it's more about just having the proper framework for asking the qualifying questions and disqualifying the leads as well if you want to include that as well now side note for just you know higher level business if you're not filled up kind of uh, with calls you're not overbooked with calls I wouldn't potentially incorporate the disqualifying question I would just focus on getting more leads getting more people on your calendar because sometimes what people say over text um, doesn't always translate to if they will become a customer but over time you will see patterns and so you probably will want to incorporate disqualification once you have enough you know calls on your calendar but here is the prompt and so now we can just go all the way down to this and make this an entirely new system okay you can see this is a roofing you know system now and it's going to ask them are they a homeowner needing roof repairs or a replacement right all this stuff is super easy to do and if you don't like any of this you can either just change it yourself or tell chat gpt you know make this shorter make this longer make the qualifying questions more extensive etc right so all this can be fully changed so once we go down here now we have the last few settings which basically make sure that this thing is set up correctly so maximum messages limit before it goes to appointment not booked i'll keep this super simple this is basically just how many messages can your bot send so the max is 25 so i like to just max it out that way you know this handles as much uh, messages as possible in case they're needed versus I'd rather have it you know be available than time out and then you know the lead kind of goes dead so I just max this out and then the last few things here is the timeout value so when we actually save this you know this action here what happens is whenever a customer replies we have this AI booking bot that will respond and so after a certain time period either the bot will time out because the lead hasn't responded or it will time out because they didn't book an appointment. And so this timeout value is basically when does the lead actually, you know, exit the workflow? And so I find that if depending on your traffic source and how you're getting leads, this may change, but to keep it simple, you can do something like 3 days. That way if somebody doesn't respond within the first day, you can program some other automations, automated text to re-follow up with them and then basically or excuse me, re-engage them 
and then basically get them back into the system. So I'm just gonna do three days here, and then we have our channel, which of course is gonna be WhatsApp. So there we go, and then the last few things here is don't let the bot send confirmation message. So what this means is once the lead actually you know, books the appointment, do we want the bot, the messaging, to actually send a confirmation, like congratulations, you're booked for Monday at 9 a.m., right? If we want the bot to send that, then we leave this unchecked. If we don't want it to send a confirmation message because we have another workflow in the system that is gonna trigger, then we would turn this on, right? And then lastly, this one's super cool. This is basically how long will the bot wait before it responds. Now, there's two different functions of this, is one is just simply how fast Fast does it reply but the second component is let's say somebody types you know messages one by one which sometimes people do then if we put this for like 60 seconds if somebody sends three messages and they're all one by one within a minute then this system will now aggregate all those messages and collect them and then respond to them in one shot, which is cool because that's more how a human would respond or they would probably respond one by one too, but this is a good enough solution. I still prefer the shorter time because you know I build these systems you know frequently and for me, the point of it is to automate the conversation, right? And so I wouldn't go more than like a few minutes um, to try to make it human. I think sometimes when you're making these systems for your own business, you kind of get in your own way the goal here is to respond to customers really fast, right? The one second basically is going to respond to them right away. So that's how I like to do them. Um, that's up to you. And then just like that, we click save. There we go. Like now this system is basically set up and we're just going to click save and then I will demo it out for you so you can see how it actually works. All right. So I just messaged this system from my cell phone here, which is on WhatsApp. And then now you should start to see the system respond. There you go. And then I'm going to start to go through the actual questions with you, show it booking the appointment and all that good stuff. So you can see here, hello, I'm here to help you with your roofing needs. Do you you need roof repairs or a replacement now like I said guys you can change this to whatever you'd like if you don't like the emojis you can have the prompt say don't include emojis if you don't like this question here you can change that in the prompt template that I showed you there's a million different things you can do here but I just really want to show you the main function which is we're now giving this potential customer an instant response the better you prompt it with frequently asked questions where your stores located your hours all that stuff the better the system will appear to you because it's just automating stuff so I'm just gonna say uh, replacement so we can see what it does here and then it's gonna respond like I said it's programmed to be one second it obviously takes a few seconds for it to process but that's pretty fast right so are you the homeowner if you took a look at the prompt it basically said if somebody isn't a homeowner we can't book an appointment with them you may need to be a little bit more nuanced right but the reality is if somebody is not a homeowner or uh, I mean if they're renting a home right they can't they're not really in charge of getting the roof replaced right so you may need to be more specific with the question right because maybe it's a you know an adult Adult, their parents are older right and they don't know how to do it right so there are some nuances where that may not directly be the the right qualifying question but you get the idea so if I say yes it's gonna keep going but if we said no right it's gonna say you know something to the effect of like unfortunately you know we can't do replacements if you don't own your home right which is what you want and all this is happening fully autonomously and this can be done with hundreds of leads at a time right so perfect is your current roof under warranty or covered by insurance insurance. So I'm just going to say no. And I think based on the template that I had, it's like four questions. So, you know, it should be, yeah, right here. Are you open to discussing roofing solutions? So I'm just going to say yes. And then it should pull the actual availability of the calendar that we set up in the first place. And then here we go. So would you like to book a call? And so, yes. And like I said, you can customize all this, make the, you know, less friction with the booking, go straight to the point, all that stuff you can do. I'm just going to say anytime and it's going to suggest times for me. And then I'm just going to choose, you know, 2 p.m. for January 7th. So, and you can see how cool this is because it's all in the chat, right? You don't have to go build something else or go to a link or anything. So, I'm just going to say yes. Now, because we didn't check that box, right? It's going to send that confirmation message. Boom, you can see the appointment actually booking in internally in the system 
right? And then this was sent to me. In addition to that, I have some test numbers here that basically when somebody books an appointment, it would then notify the business owner, right? So in this case, this is just a test number, but you could have this as your number or if you're doing this to help other businesses, you can put their number. That's the appointment booking function. And so you can see here, if we go to the actual calendar section, that this is an actual appointment that has been booked on a calendar. And so if we go to the calendar section inside of high level and we click on appointments, we can actually see that this is a real appointment Appointment that has been booked for January 7th, 2025 at 2 p.m. So we basically responded to that lead instantly. We qualified the lead. And then when they were ready to book an appointment, we booked it all inside of the chat. And then this is now on a real calendar. And then in addition to that, you can have automations, like I said, that trigger to yourself or the business owner, all that good stuff. So you know that the appointment was actually booked. So if you're interested in more AI systems like this, you can join my paid school group down below or you can get access to that paid school group completely free if you partner with me as a Go High Level affiliate. So both of those links will be down below. I'll see you in the next video and talk to you then. Bye-bye.